What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream uh, with an update video on this Wednesday evening. It is January or Wednesday afternoon, excuse me, January 26, 2022, about 12.40 p.m. Uh, California time here along the West Coast. Looking at the most recent earthquake on the globe is a 4.7 earthquake uh, striking out here in the Indonesia area. You can see a little swarm of movement right there kicking up here within the last uh, 24 hours it looks like let's go ahead and check out some more earthquake activity around the globe around the map here things kind of dying off a little bit doesn't it look like it at least a little bit uh, compared to the past couple days we are still seeing some movement out here in the haiti area and a pretty good uptick in movement around the puerto rico trench as well uh, just north of puerto rico here seeing uh, some threes and whatnot kick off we're still seeing some further activity here around the haiti area with a 4.4 i still think there's a strong possibility of seeing something uh, up above the 5.0 threshold uh, very soon from all of this activity that they have been having around the haiti area uh, usgs only showing uh, a handful of earthquakes on this map here although there's uh we could probably triple that number in terms of the uh, multitudes of quakes here in the haiti area uh, these guys only listing 5.3 and a 5.1 and a handful of fours within this region but uh, we definitely got a lot more uh, in the three range kicking up and some fours not being reported there uh, in the haiti area a 4.4 latest earthquake there by the usgs within this region activity continues around the caribbean in a heightened uh, activity type of way looking at the states uh, a little bit of movement up in the, the west coast region we're seeing a swarm of activity really ramp up around the Ridgecrest region. Last night, this thing was popping off pretty crazily in a little confined swarm uh, around the Little Lake area. It's kind of north. If you if you uh, if we draw were to draw a line here, it's kind of at the northern end of where this uh, the uh, fracture uh, July 4th, July 5th earthquake sequence happened here back in 2019. Kind of at the northern end of that fracture, this fault zone here, the airport. Kind of looks like it's right around the airport uh, lake fault, possibly uh, towards the northern end. And uh, that's kind of around the, the uh, fault system that uh, ruptured there a couple years ago with that uh, sequence of earthquakes near Ridgecrest. But uh, we're looking at just an individualized earthquake swarm here. Quite a few kicking off. Uh, so far, it looks like a 2.9. I believe that was downgraded. It was a three-pointer last night. Uh, but quite a few twos and ones kicking up here. There's another 3.1 up here. Um, just a bunch of movement kicking up all at once there around the Ridgecrest area, north of Ridgecrest, I should say. Kind of uh, out there around the uh, somewhat coastal volcanic range. Let's go ahead and check out the satellite imagery of the uh, view. And you can see, uh, without a doubt, uh, some historical, I should say historical, but uh, past volcanic activity within this region there's a couple well-defined type uh, buttes and other volcanic signatures around this region and specifically right here where the swarms happening uh, looks like uh, looks like some type of operation or not for sure what that is out here in this region I might have to look it up on Google Earth but uh, looks like something maybe some type of mining operation maybe digging out there in the uh, in the dirt but uh, it kind of looks like that's where it's occurring at, uh, for the most part, directly directly underneath there, uh, whatever operation this is. If you guys know, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll do a little bit further research before tonight's update. But uh, some, something there, some type of operation. Uh, pretty shallow earthquakes as well, roughly about one to two kilometers, so not very deep at all with the swarming activity occurring there. Could be man-made there north of Ridgecrest. Uh, the rest of the Ridgecrest area, let's go ahead and bring it back to the terrain. Uh, just show some activity up and down the fracture zone there. And a little bit of movement around the Garlock Fault structure uh, with a 1.1 right smack dab on that area. rest of Southern California looking pretty quiet along the San Jacinto Fault Zone and the Elsinore Fault area. Uh, Marietta southward looking fairly quiet off the coast of Southern California. Some movement. Uh, looks like a couple twos kicking off here just off the coast. Of the Oxnard area off Highway 1. Pretty shallow earthquakes uh, in that region of the uh, state, or off the state there, I should say, out in the ocean. 
up here around Long Valley Super Volcano, a little swarm southwest and south of Mammoth Lakes area. A couple ones and whatnot kicking off in that area. A little bit of dying down of movement through the Nevada area. Not seeing as much swarming here as we had seen the last couple days around the Candelaria Hills and northward. Just a few microquakes over the last 24 hours. Uh, these, this earthquake here around the Sacramento area is a confirmed earthquake, a 2.0. Originally a 2.2, I believe. Uh, well, it actually still says automatic. It has not been reviewed. I could swear this said automatic or uh, reviewed earlier, but uh, it does show automatic status, so it is not 100% confirmed on that uh, 2.0 earthquake that occurred just south of Sacramento, the Elk Grove area. Uh, Vallejo seen a little bit of movement, and the geyser activity as well. Uh, regional up north here, not a whole lot of movement along the uh, Mendocino Fault area, just a little earthquake, a 2.6 and some activity throughout the Pacific Northwest into the state of Washington. Uh, activity, uh, yeah, just kind of uh, staying at a standstill up there in the north. Movement around Las Vegas as well, 1.5 kicking up. Uh, see if this has been reviewed or not. Still, uh, this one's at automatic status as well with a depth of about six kilometers. <clears throat> we'll see if this gets uh, updated or not in that region. Uh, looking at uh, some activity up here well north of the Reno area. Seen a 3.2 near Empire, Nevada. And a subsequent uh, little aftershock there. Pretty shallow, 1.6. But the 3.2 coming in at 9.5 kilometers. Pretty deep activity in that region. Uh, let's go ahead and check out satellite view of this area as well. And, uh, of course, there's fault systems that run throughout this area. And uh, let's see if we can... Uh, it doesn't look like it's marked too well on the map, but there's definitely a bunch of faults throughout the region, unnamed faults and such uh, in this area, it looks like. Uh, let's see, Intermountain West region's pretty quiet. A little query blast up in Montana. Check out the Yellowstone map while we're on it. Uh, not a whole lot of movement here at Yellowstone currently. A couple small microquakes overnight, looks like, around the northwest corner of the park. Other than that... Uh, not a whole lot going on there in Wyoming. The eastern part of the country, quiet as well. A little bit of movement off the coast of uh, Guatemala, it looks like. Seen a uh, 4.3. Ooh, I don't like that number. 6.6 6 6 on the depth there of the earthquake into the Middle America Trench. Can't get any worse than that. Uh, and also South America region just showing a little bit of movement in the uh, Argentina area uh, with a deep earthquake there at 121 kilometers. Meanwhile, the Aleutian Trench still seeing some swarming activity out here around a, uh, well, a couple of volcanic islands out here. We'll go ahead and switch over to the satellite imagery here, and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. See a swarm of activity kicking up here around, the, not for sure the name of this volcano here. Um, but there's definitely a, a volcanic chain throughout this area, and we're seeing some earthquakes happening within uh, these two peaks here, within these two volcanic domes. Kicking up uh, roughly about four to six kilometers down there where we could see uh, some magma movement uh, occurring. So we'll have to keep a closer eye on this area um, in the, the near future for uh, possible, uh, who knows, we'll see volcanic activity there in the Aleutian chain, Aleutian Islands. Some movement right smack dab on the trench area with the 3.4. The rest of the mainland area, Alaska, uh, typical activity in the major subduction zone here. Movement through the uh, Cook Inlet area, up through the Fairbanks area as well. You can see that uh, activity stretching up there. Japan remains relatively quiet in the Japan Kuril Kamachaka Trench, quite as well. Uh, there's the Indonesia activity and also some movement in the Fiji area where we've seen uh, this earthquake struck in just after my update last night. We were talking about how quiet it is. And of course, uh, right after I upload the video, we get a deep 4.3 earthquake uh, 536 kilometers deep. Uh, some movement around Tonga as well. The rest of the map here, not a whole lot of activity through the China region or the Middle East or Mediterranean Sea. This earthquake here in the Republic of Congo, of the Congo, 5.0 in the Africa region hit last night. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out the EMSC models while we're at it. Uh, by the way, the stream went down uh, suspiciously again last night about 2 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> uh, activity on the EMSC map uh, still shows some movement, uh, roughly uh, in sync with the USGS activity. Go ahead and check out the uh, little bit closer view of the Pacific here. 
on the uh, EMSC model. And uh, it's taking a little time, taking a little time. There's the quiet spell continuing there in the uh, Japan region. Cluster of quakes over here through the Indonesia area. And uh, looks like activity really ramping up in the three range as well along the Middle America Trench. And the uh, looks like South America region as well getting in on quite a few threes. Uh, although these guys are reporting quite a few fours in there as well that the USGS is uh, not reporting again. Uh, what else we got here? Trimmer map last night was confined to zero once again. The magic number of zero trimmers up here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Cascadia subduction zone. No activity at all, folks. Kind of kind of eerie. Not uh, not for sure what the uh, outcome of this will be, but uh, definitely entering into a, or have been, into a, an extended period of quietness for for a little while now. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, be a little bit productive here today. We will chat you guys a little bit later on this evening. Stream is back up and running. Um, you know, they can bring it down 100 times in a day. I will still bring it back up 100 times. So you know, wasting their time to trying to bring this stream down. All right, guys, stay safe out there. And, uh, man, hope for the best. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.